is just Pn times G. So this would say we are not, in fact, then looking for the vector P that satisfies that um, uh, is a fixed point of this matrix. And interestingly enough, there is a simple criterion when this happens. And what is the criterion? The criterion looks like this. If you draw the picture of all web, of all uh, states, in our case web edges, and if the edges are weighted, the weight of each edge is probability to transition uh, from i into j, if this is pi, pj. Then your Markov chain has to satisfy two properties. First property is uh, that it is strongly connected. Uh, what does this mean? It means that for every two states, there exists a path that uh, from pi goes to pj, and vice versa, from pj goes back to pi. So simply, this directed graph has to be strongly connected. That's one. And the second property is that the graph has to be acyclic. But it doesn't mean, uh, uh, sorry, a periodic. What does a periodic mean? You look at any state or any node in the graph. And you look at all possible infinitely many paths through the graph that start from pi and end back at pi. It shouldn't be the case that the lengths of all these paths are all divisible by a number fixed number k. So it is not the case that there exists a single state so that every path that starts there and ends there must be divisible by k. Okay? This means that the, the Markov chain corresponding Markov chain is aperiodic. And the fundamental theorem of Markov chains says that if the graph is irreducible, which means it's strongly connected, and aperiodic, right? It has this property that it is not the case that all paths are divisible by k. Then the corresponding Markov chain has a unique probability that satisfies that is the fixed point of Markov chains. Now you tell me, why is it the case that Google uh, graph uh, given by the matrix with this tweaked matrix. Why is it strongly connected? Because uh, we really say that you can always randomly teleport to any. Exactly. So in fact, it is trivially strongly connected because any two web pages have a very weak link of strength one over n guaranteed to exist in. Uh, uh, either of the directions, right? So it's trivially connected. Why is it the case that uh, uh, it's not the case that all uh, paths, uh, you know, you go, that, why is it the case that there is no web page that has the property that any surfing uh, that leads you back to that page must be divisible by some number, a fixed number? This is a complete graph. Exactly, it's a complete graph. So trivially, it satisfies the condition that is aperiodic and irreducible, and uh, the big theorem on Markov chain then guarantees that such uh, probability distribution exists, and it's unique. Now, the amazing thing is this, that uh, Markov chains have been studied uh, ad nauseum, you know, just by both mathematicians, by statisticians, and by computer scientists. But it took these two guys uh, to find the killer uh, 
example of a Markov chain, namely the random surfer example, right? And uh, so you see, they had to know, they've heard, the, you know, at Stanford, we cannot graduate in computer science without learning about Markov chains, and there is a good reason for that, right? So they knew very basics about Markov chains, uh, but they were able to apply it. Uh, so you don't have to be, uh, you know, an expert mathematician. It's enough to know, to have basic kind of acquaintance with the mathematical concepts and theorems to find good applications of that. Huh? And this application, believe, of course you believe me, is worth tens of hundreds of billions. I don't know how much money these guys have. Huh? So in short, uh, knowing math is not for academic beauty, but to apply it uh, and to design good stuff, and of course, on the way, make some money, eh? Okay, so we continue with voting uh, next week. Please read the notes about uh, Google PageRank. Uh, about the refiners. Uh, okay. Do I just stop it? Yeah.